www.decibets.com Hi, I'm Sanab Sangera and you're watching me on deciblitz.com. Uh, but they're not entirely illiterate. My mum can read and write Punjabi, but my dad is illiterate. But I think in general, Sikh Punjabis are not a very uh, literary culture. We are, by tradition, soldiers and farmers, as you can tell from my physique. Um, but I think I just got into uh, books and I think I got into music first, which is often the case, I think, with a lot of writers. They get into music and they work out they're terrible musicians. And so to compensate, they start writing about music. And that's kind of how I started. I started off in music journalism, really. And then my interests kind of widened. I think because the people around me weren't reading, I was a really slow developer. So I was reading some very basic stuff like Roald Dahl, um, which really got me into books. And actually it was the writers really who wrote about the Midlands, so Jonathan Coe and uh, David Lodge, and that I really got into them because it was about part of the world I understood. And then slowly, probably a few British Asian writers like Mira Sayal and um, Hanif Qureshi and so on. Um, but I definitely have very British tastes, and I think I like the English novel, and I particularly like the comic English novel. Call my eye. To be honest, I don't really see race anymore when I read. I think as you get older you just look for good writing and I, I don't really seek out British, Asian or Asian writers but I mean one of my favourite authors is Jhumpa Lahiri who I think was long listed for the Booker Prize and I just think her short stories are just wonderful and it's interesting that she writes about Indian American culture and yet she's not ghettoized. people don't talk about her as an Indian writer she's just a brilliant uh, writer which is what I think all writers hope for is that you just treat it as someone who writes well universally about life and, and human nature. Uh, the Boy with Topknot uh, was my first book, but I wrote it at the time because I was trying to escape the pressure to have an arranged marriage. And also I discovered that my sister and my father both had schizophrenia and I hadn't known that or really hadn't accepted it until my mid-twenties and as a way to kind of make sense of my family history and also a way for me to move on with my own life and it kind of worked. I think when I'm doing journalism I, I long to write a book and when I'm, when I'm writing a book I long to do journalism. I don't think either of them are easy, I think a writer is someone who finds writing hard. Um, but I probably enjoy journalism more because I'm quite a sociable person and I like going out in the world and talking to people and the most difficult thing about writing books is that you're basically locked away in a, in a room for two years. It's self-imposed kind of imprisonment which is difficult. Whenever I finish a book I always decide that I'm never going to write another book again. I always say never, say never and then I end up writing one. But at the moment I'm just thinking about ideas. I've got an idea for a TV series so I'm developing a screenplay for TV which I've written no words off so don't ask me about that. Um, but it's just an idea I'm thinking about. And I think that's the way creative things work in that you have an idea and it, you think about it almost unconsciously and you make notes occasionally and before you know it you have a project and it might be a book and it might be something else. For news, gossip and gupshop, log on to desiblitz.com.